Here we are in Mixcraft 10, and I'm going to click on the mixer tab down here at the bottom left. That will cause the mixer to pop up. You can adjust the height by grabbing this bar. And if you'd like it to be even higher, you can undock, and then you can full screen it. Or what you can do, which is what I like to do, is come down here and just drag the mixer by itself without the other tabs. Now I do that because I have three monitors on my computer and I like to put the mixer on my left monitor, the main window straight in front of me, and the sound editor to the right. So first things first here with the mixer, what we're going to do is click on this gear icon and this allows you to customize the mixer to uh, look just like you want it to look. So let's say for example you don't use the compressor. So you might want to hide that so there's less height, less scrolling. Uh, let's say you don't want the co complex uh, parametric EQ. You'd rather have the three band. Well, that saves height too. But I like the parametric. The more control the better, in my opinion. You could also make this the default configuration once you get it how you want it. And in my opinion, the coolest customization feature, you can grab these and rearrange them. Let's say we like our inputs to be at the top with our outputs. We hit OK. There they are. I'm going to work with the kick track here. So we've output the kick to the submix track called drums. Now, if we output that to the master track, it's going to pull it out of that submix. And now, with this, this project's got so many tracks, where did that go? Huh. What you can do is click None to show None, and then search for Kick, enable it. Then you can go back and say, well, let's put that back where it was. Then we're going to hit All. And we know we're in the Drums submix here, and there's the Kick again. Moving along, we have the send knob because I have a send track in my project which contains a reverb plugin and I call it drum verb. And that send track shows up over here. See, we have drum verb. You can EQ it, you can do anything to it that you're doing to any other track. So if I want to send, and a kick's not a good example of that because I'm not going to send a kick drum to a reverb. But the snare, on the other hand, I've got sending to the send track where the reverb is. That's an easy way to put the same plugin on several tracks without using a bunch of instances, which then uses more CPU. Okay, the next thing down here, we have the onboard compressor. And this is a cool tool. You can swap channels, left and right, phase invert, just right, just left, or both, and make it a mono track, and adjust your stereo width. Here's drive. If you want to add a little bit of distortion or drive to your tracks. And on to the parametric equalizer. You can change the uh, curve type from bell curve to high shelf right here. Here's your frequency. Here's your level. And each mid frequency adjustment has not only frequency, level, but a Q to change the bell type. And the same thing here. And down here for the low, we also have the curve type to be a bell curve or a low shelf. Down here, same as on the main interface, you can add your effects here if you'd like. Or you can use the effects list window. Got solo, monitor, mute, arm, and then your input if you are recording to the track. Choose your input, arm, and record. And we have our slider, volume slider, and our pen. This is our preview track. This is for things like the library, uh, the metronome, raise the volume up and down, and of course our master track, which has all the functionality of the other tracks, other than you cannot change the output because he is the top dog. And that is the functionality of the awesome mixer in Mixcraft 10.